We are live in Photo London. Hopefully you can hear us. We're being a little bit quiet right now. Um, there are some great images. Oh, Brian, so Brian. Yeah, he's here around. Well, so what happened was last week, Albert, who's Nick Can, the lovely Nick Can, couldn't yes. make it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had to re-gift his VIP tickets. And Brian was the next person that was drawn out of the hat. So Brian went. Brian to some lovely images. We've actually only just arrived, so we've managed to say hi to the Nikon gang, and that's as far as we've gotten. Uh, but we are going to take you around in a little bit. Uh, hello to everyone. Yeah, Com so, yeah I'm going to read the comments since I've got the phone. Um, and uh, obviously, welcome to Grace Horse Mr. Friday Live Show. Yay! From Auto London, the Somerset House in London. Absolutely. That's how we do introduction. Yes, yeah, sorry. I just like cut straight to the. And it's pressure, people are watching us. So yeah, there's, know, and there's, be alive. there's like this little crowd. <laughs> what are we going to do when we actually have to speak in front of large groups of people? I have no idea, but we should definitely try. I'm just going to put the uh, show the roses. Yeah. Look at that. They're, at that. they're actually crazy. made of paper, some of them, but um, this is a nice little corner. Um, that Gabby from Nikon showed us. So we thought we'd start here because it's so picturesque and it's it's quite bright and airy, which is great. Now I must, we must immediately yeah. read the Coffee Fun thanks. If you are not watching live, then I will put a link to the Coffee Fund below later when I get back to the shop. But if you're watching live, you can do a super chat if you want to do a yeah. contribution to the Coffee Fund. And thank you already to Terry, who said iced coffee, and to Michael, who thank said, you very much. friend of mine just recently bought his Z9 in Japan. Um, He's also got some insider info on the Z9 deliveries for us. He said he was told yeah. the delivery problem is chips and not likely to be solved until 2024. Yeah, there's plenty <laughs> of chips in England, you know. <laughs> you just have to buy it with fish. Fish but, and chips, you know. yeah. Um, but no, that's true. It is components. I think in our last yeah. Nikon report we were talking about that. Yeah, the, the demand is there. It's just they can't make enough cameras for everyone. So that's all it is. Yeah, exactly. And Albert got his today after exactly a six month wait. That's so nice. Well, at least he got one. That's know. right. Uh, thank you to Brian for your thank contribution you, to the Coffee Fund. I hope you enjoyed the show on Wednesday. Brian came to the VIP day. Um, we were working, <laughs> but we're here today. Uh, and as I say, we'll, we'll, we will show you around in, in a little bit and uh, we haven't seen it ourselves so we haven't really formulated yeah. an opinion yet. <laughs> well, we, we went to Fort London back in September last year yeah. and we just thought, oh, is, is it September already? Yeah. Or is it happening so soon? So some events, they kind of overlap a little bit so it's not every like 12 months. So it was in September back then, now it's what, May, then we had, when did we have photography show in Birmingham? September. That was in September. And then the next one is going to be in September as well. Yeah. Okay. So I think Photo London's normally around this time, which was why they just essentially did two very close together to sort of reset the calendar. Yeah, but the photography show was in March, I think, last year or, or April because they were like next to each other. Were they? Yeah, I think so. No, last year they were both in September, but I mean, just generally, is the photography show, it's always been in September. I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to me, listen to her. <laughs> Connor's very confused. And um, yeah, why the role reverse? I'm on the wrong side. I just happened to pick the side closest to the flowers. That's why. Make you like flowers. <laughs> uh, we brought, so there's been a couple of, if you're planning to come. Uh, bring your camera with you because no one knows you're a photographer without a camera <laughs> at Port of London. So you can't bring big cameras. You can't bring professional bodies or telephoto lenses, which shouldn't be too much of a worry anyway. Well, the funny thing is they said telephoto lenses are not allowed. Yeah. Like, why would you use telephoto lens in a cramped area? No idea. But uh, great for wide angles. So I'm sporting my FM3A with the 28mm f2.8. And Con's got his... Fitch 1.4. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. With a portrait 400. Yes, we both got portrait 400 in ours. We actually went down to the Nikon area. We, we can't go down there because the signal doesn't work very well. So we'll lose you immediately if we go down there. Um, but, uh, but we did go down there. Rishi actually let us shoot some of the studio setup. Yeah, the funny thing is we, we tried to put SU-800 on top of our 3A and that didn't work. Mm -mm. So then we used SB-700 as a trigger effectively and then we triggered other flash guns by infrared light effectively. And that did work. Yeah. Um, so it's good to know for the future that if you've got an FM-3A, the SU-800 will not let you trigger. 
<laughs> yeah, get a pocket tweezer instead. That's right, we learned the hard way. Uh, but it was really nice to be able to do that. Obviously, no idea what the shots look like, but it'd be great. Do I have some coffee fans? Yeah, we've got Jean, thank you very much, and also Brian Shaw as well. Thank you, Brian Shaw, for some Costa Rican, he said. Mm. Very nice. I don't remember we talked about Costa Rican versus Colombia. Yes, that's right. Um, our Photo Plus show in New York City, that's what Andy said, Photo Plus has been downsized. Mm. Only 4,000 attendees. Well, we have a man on the inside for the Analog Spotlight event oh, yes. this coming weekend. Uh, the lovely Richard Brown is going to be doing some investigative reporting for us because yeah. we can't make it over there ourselves. Apparently this event is now sold out. Wow. So even if you want to come in, there's a waiting list. You can go to another Gwendolyn website and put, you on the, put yourself on the list if oh, you that's want. that's pretty cool. Um, one year, we, if they do it again, because obviously this is the first show, yeah. if they do it again, I'd love to go. Especially Maybe. in London. It'd <laughs> be know, great if nice. it were in London and not in Warwickshire. Where is it? Wiltshire? Worcestershire? You know, I'm pretty bad with <laughs> geography, you know. <laughs> it begins with a W. <laughs> Near Birmingham. I think it's um, in Worcester. Yes, it was in Worcester. Uh, yeah, and, that's, and the reason I remember that is because it's so impossible to pronounce uh, for someone who isn't me. Uh, oh, Russell said, I'd love to see you all with film cameras. Yeah, well, yesterday, if you, if you were on our stories, you would have seen that we not only had the FM3As, but we also had some medium format cameras with us, as well as yep. our Zs, so. All right, we can't do a poll, but let's no, say if you're gonna ask our viewers to say, which FM3A, black or chrome? <gasps> oh, that's a good question, because I always go for the chrome camera. I go, Black, you yeah. know why? Why? Because back in the day, it was a reporter's camera. Mm -hmm, it's true. And I would like to think of myself as a life reporter. A wannabe, <laughs> wannabe reporter. <laughs> you know, pictures of uh, latte and cappuccino cups. Yeah, that's good reporting right there. Some fish and chips and fried eggs. Mm -hmm. Could do a bit of that later. Yeah, I'm a, you know, I'm a, what do we call it? Andy and Albert yes. are Chrome fans, while Jan and. There we go. Um, and Tadius yeah. are black fans. Richard said Chrome. Pathfinder said uh, Chrome. Very nice. Yeah. And what I want I to won. say. I think I win. <laughs> is uh, when you're taking for a Russell Fry there, you imagine yourself being a Martin Park. Oh, right, okay. You know, that's right. Going to the south coast of England. I didn't totally understand the fried egg reference. Well, here you go. You <laughs> see, because we're in Fort of London, we're soaking up the culture, yes. you know, the art, not megapixels. We should probably do that at some yeah, point. We, There's should, another... we should actually look at some point. We should. Here. Thank you to Adrian as well for your contribution. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you so, so much. Um, so, should we do a little um, walk through? I, the, my concern is always a signal. Yeah. Ooh, if you can give us a thumbs up, that would be great. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to say, two yeah. things I wanted to say before okay, we go you walking. Go. So the first thing was, thank you very much for 13,000 subscribers. Well, we've reached 13,000. We actually hit 13,000 yesterday and I meant to say it yesterday. Nice, thank you very much guys, um, we appreciate it. But yeah, liking the, the stream is super helpful for the channel. It just kind of puts it out there in the big internet world. Exactly. Uh, and obviously we're going for a very lofty target this year, but any and all help you can give if you're not a subscriber by subscribing, by liking the videos, super, super helpful. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, yes. which is completely random, okay. right? But, you know, sometimes we ask and our viewers listen. Yes. <laughs> so we've actually been sent by Megadap a new adapter. It's on its way, and it's for Sony E lenses mm -hmm. to go onto Nikon Z lenses. Okay. And I'm just wondering if anyone would have a Sony E lens that we could borrow for an afternoon, supervised, if you mm -hmm. wish, just so that we can test it out, because okay. Megadap have actually asked us if we can do that, and I don't have a Sony E lens. In I'm going to do a Shock 5 for PS5. Would that work? No, unfortunately, no, okay. you can't mount that on your Z camera. <laughs> and a FIFA 22. I can't mount my PS4 no. on the. Damn it. <laughs> But if you do have a Sony E lens and you happen to be in the London area or would be happy yeah. to send it to us for a day, then exactly. send it straight Because back. clearly no one is using Sony cameras. So, you know, if there's one person who does that, please send us your lens. <laughs> just you know, one person, just one. <laughs> We've actually, one, one of the guys that makes my coffee in Gales uses Sony. I was going to yeah. ask him as my next port of call. Does he have his own YouTube channel? No. Okay. He doesn't, but, um, but I might ask him actually, it's my mate. <laughs> That's, true. He, That's true. he calls me oat milk flat white when I walk in. 
because he knows. <laughs> Don't say you listen to my name. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, it's always difficult to get a good short Americano. In yes, this I know. It is difficult. That's you know. true. Uh, Keith is in rainy mm. Kansas City, who is actually getting his 100 to 400, so that's great news. Uh, Dave and Deborah are with you on the black one, as mm. are, is David. Uh, whereas Nigel said Velvia. <laughs> Velvia. Well, like they have a portrait, but <laughs> Velvia in 5.4 is being discontinued. So if you're a large format shooter and you shoot this film stock, definitely get as many as you can and just freeze them. I actually think the black cameras have won, won actually, because Roger and, um, let's see, Roger and Terry also say chrome, but a lot of people say yeah. black. So. Well, if Nikon would release black ZFC, yeah, I, I would be first in line for it, and I don't use DX cameras. It's very true. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, Jeff clarified. So the photography show in Birmingham used to be held in March, but was postponed to September, and then it went back to September in last year. You see, Jeff gets me. Jeff gets you. Yeah. And uh, and thank you very much to Jeff for coming into the shop the other day. I'm sorry, I missed yeah, you. Yeah, we missed you. Yeah. Which was very sad, but I would have loved to have said hi. Um, but I saw you coming on Instagram. Yes. So the picture of the shop and everything. It's so. true. So it's going to be in September this year anyway. Uh, Russell, yeah. yeah, we did mention we're both shooting Kodak Portra 400 at the moment. Although... Because they are rich. Apparently they're going for £20 a roll right now on eBay. Look what I have in my pocket. That's a basically thing disappeared from Look, the world. It's uh, like gold dust. Yeah. So we've got some in the shop and we're actually selling it on our website. Yeah. But I've got, I've got a roll of mine. There own. is a rumour that Kodak Color Plus has been discontinued, at least for this year. Yeah, I saw that. I was so very sad. It's not discontinued as a film stock, but apparently they all going into gold and ultra marks at the moment. So you may not see Color Plus this year at all. Yeah, and Color Plus had, I shot one roll of it, actually quite liked it, was planning to make it my sort of staple film in my, mm. in my fridge. And it's the cheapest color film from Kodak. That's right. Yeah. And um, I thought, when I run out of Portra 160 and 400, mm. that's what I'm going to stock up on. And then suddenly yeah. it vanished. From By the way, yeah, we've just got shipments of Portra's 160, 400 and 800 film stock. I know those are out of stock everywhere. Yes. We've just got the shipment. So if you are looking to buy them, just go on, the, on our website. So. We have them in stock. Um, Taddeus likes the idea of a black ZFC as well. Yeah. I think we should get one made just for greys. You know, many years ago, Nikon made a P7000 in gunmetal grey, and it was exclusive to greys and Harrods. Mm. We need something like that. That's true. Gunmetal. But actually, I think Nikon should get into this like a territory of limited edition cameras. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. You know, release a black ZFC, okay, charge 200 quid. I know a lot of people are going to complain, but charge a bit extra. Call it Lenny Kravitz edition, whatever, you know, and, um, you know, just release it into the world. So I think black one would be a top seller for sure, but you can also do whatever, the military colors, whatever. How would you say, what do we look at the skins for Z9? Yeah, the khaki ones yeah. and all that. So, you know, I'm, obviously I'm all up for Pikachu edition, which is bright yellow. The Pikachu edition would be a great seller, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a good street documentary camera. You said Lenny Kravitz, and I was like, what about like a Taylor Swift edition? We were going on about Taylor Swift. Yeah, no, it should be a Zendaya edition. <laughs> Zendaya yes. June edition. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like, was it like a kind of orange brown? Yes. Color? Yeah. yeah, very much so. So, shall we, um, yeah. we talk? Shall we have a look at some photography? The good people of YouTube. Um, acronym Photography asked where we are. We are in Photo London. And you will be able to see very soon. Let me just actually yeah. flip the camera around. Yeah, that's in Somerset House in London. So this is the Financial Times corner, but it's very pretty. And then if I can do that, ooh, not to give anyone vertigo or anything, mm -hmm. but that is the, um, the up yeah. bit. Do you subscribe to Financial Times, Becky? I do not. Yeah, have you been following the stock market in the last couple of days? Not even a little no. bit. No, how, how much are your investments down? <laughs> 50 no percent <laughs> all right i wanted to show this bit properly there you yes. go that's the corner we were sitting in isn't that pretty you know you can also now i know turn the camera over like this and then we and can then show. i can flip it like that exactly so do you want me to follow you where do you uh, want to go are you going? are we going outside we're we going to the main tent we can go to the main tent let's do that right. we'll walk through the corridors follow me then i'll follow you do 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 can take in some photography as we go well there's some photography in there you look it's look. the stranger things creatures Oh, yeah. <laughs> Acronym <laughs> photography like, said... You're we're, a woman of culture. <laughs> <laughs> said uh, we're not in a funeral home. No, we're not in a funeral home. <laughs> not at all. 
but we are going to take in some of that. You know what I noticed, though? Yeah. I don't know if it's just because of where we've been so yes. far, but there's a lot more black and white photography than I remember last year. Well, because colour's stuck. You know, it's stuck everywhere. <laughs> That's films, what so. does it. Yeah. I love these where you've got the, um, you know, where the building is, the frontage mm. is listed, mm -hmm. and then behind it, you've got all these structures. Yeah, that's a mixed media. Yeah, it looks like it. It does look like it. Right, shall we go to the next yeah, bit? It looked like the, the roof tent looked like a new can calendar that we have for sale. <laughs> the poster? Yeah. We do, have, we do have posters for sale. Which way do you want to go? Yeah, I'm going to lead your way. <laughs> I'm going to follow you. So we're going to have okay. a lot of the back of your head on this yeah. live stream. Oh, but it's nice and bright in here. I like that. Again, black and white photography. Yeah. Here we go. You have to keep an eye on the comments because I can't see them now. Oh, yeah, true. Let in me, in let your me spare time, whilst also looking at the... Um, yeah, the I'm enjoying topic. photography at the moment. So it's good. Like, you should enjoy it. All right, Black ZFC is winning all the polls right now. Okay. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, these are very interesting. So these are sort of like uh, photos that have yeah. been cut yeah, and then went through the shredder. blended together. The Banksy edition? I've seen, I've seen that concept quite a few times recently. It's very interesting. That's true. Dave Walker is going to photography show in Birmingham in September. I so we might see you this. there, Dave. I love that shot. Something just very classic. Yeah, very Classical, classic. you I know. Well, let's have a look at that. Hello, Sivan, who's in the Indian Ocean. Not literally. He's in Mauritius, but <laughs> hello. This uh, photographer was actually part of the brochure and is on the website and I think that this is an excellent concept so there we go indeed I do love those there we go so Ed is in Mexico hi Ed hi Ed in Mexico see now I made you look at the comments you can't enjoy the, <laughs> the photography quite as much but I love this concept of mixed media I do as well it's nice it's like, you remember last year we had that photographer that sort of like the photo, you had the photo and then you had like a glass layer and then there was something yes. else on top of it. Those were phenomenal. They were nice, they were nice. Um, Those are classic. Ron said, as a film photographer, do you find that you don't do so much post-processing uh, as you do with digital? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, unless it's, it's some sort of studio fashion shoot and then you would retouch it anyway but uh, generally you do different styles of photography when you shoot in film. It's very true I don't retouch my film photos but I know people that do. Well, it depends what you do if you do like lots of let's say yeah beauty stuff yes. in film then it's a different okay, story. Okay then you're probably going to need to retouch it a little yeah. bit. But then yeah if you're doing architecture landscape why would you retouch those? Yeah. Very true. Oh look, it's Tilly in a dress. I'm oh, joking. Yes, <laughs> yes we, we had to dye, to, you know, dye her hair. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's something Tilly. slightly creepy about that. Should we go out? Yeah, let's go out. We'll come back for the books after. <laughs> That's right. Let's spend some money on books. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Those of you who didn't join us for our September live stream, this is Somerset House. Hopefully the signal is, yeah. uh, is working. And so Somerset House is an absolutely massive structure. That's actually the front of it over there. And then this main, let me just turn this around for a second, I'm being blinded. Uh, and then this is the main tent. Uh, there is a coffee shop, so Keith, we will be taking advantage, <laughs> for sure. Uh, thank you very much to Keith and to Jeremy oh, for your contributions so much, to the Coffee Fund. Uh, yeah, there's a Fernandes and Wells. It's a really good coffee place, actually. So let's uh, have a coffee after. Yeah, we will, for sure. And Michael said the signal's good so far, which is great, because uh, last year we really did struggle with certain places. But look at that architecture. <laughs> not that, <laughs> that one. <laughs> camera's not behaving. There we go. Lovely. And okay, then you want me to hold the camera? You want? To... I'm going to flip it around for a second. I just okay. want to show this bit. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, what a glorious day in London, huh? It's been a little bit chilly this morning, but now it's nice and warm. It's a perfect time for shorts. Then we've got the uh, aperitivo bar. <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> yes. Come join us. <laughs> While we, uh, yeah. we enjoy that. Okay, so down here, you can't actually see it, but down there, 
underneath that little bit is where the Nikon area is. So they have their heritage cameras. I really wish we could show you them. Yeah, they have a 6mm, <laughs> the one that we used for our 6mm review video. That's right. So it's down there. So if you are um, in London on weekend, you can pop down and have a look at it yourself in that, the flesh. That's right. You can uh, come and see it in person, see how colossal it really is. Um, they've also got a Nikonis RS. You can see one of those in the shop because we have one of those. And a Gold FA, we've got one of those too. Is that the one you can't autofocus on land? Uh, on land, but yeah. then under the water. It autofocuses. It's the okay. only. It's the only underwater autofocus camera. Yeah, very difficult to demonstrate in the shop. Film, obviously not. Not digital. They have autofocus digital underwater cameras. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very difficult to demonstrate. So Gray said it was always a difficult seller because apart from the fact that it's huge. Yeah. Um, where are we going? I don't Up know, there. I follow you. Oh, I was following you, so that's Okay, well, helpful. let's go to the main entrance and then we go inside. Why don't rooms. we go through the... You want to go from, from a side? Well, we're there now. Because otherwise we'll do the full circle, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, why... <laughs> Organize. We could go up there. Are we allowed yeah. in there? Can we? Don't know. Why Let's don't you try out. it? <laughs> I'll just embarrass myself. <laughs> I'm going to wait to see if you can open the door. <laughs> um, Is that the like, Mr. Bean situation? Oh, that's right. Terry was... No, we can't. Yeah, no, you can't go in that way. Okay. Or maybe the door is heavy. I don't know. It's Te either or. Terry, Terry and Nige actually watched the six mil being collected by Elizabeth from Nikon. Oh, okay. um, no, I don't think there are doors, actually. Well, there used to be doors in here. <laughs> okay, let's do another lap. It's going so well. Uh, Tim said a six mil has popped up on uh, an auction site, live auctioneers, which is a bit worrying. It's, it's not ours anyway. It's not ours. Um, yeah, so that six millimeter has been to a few shows and there was a show that Nikon had it at where basically the, the tripod was knocked over and that's why it has a scratch on it. Uh, yeah, which it's, is, it was a little girl, so you can't really blame her. No, exactly. If it would be me, I would be fired, but it's a little girl. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. like... Oh, can we go she can't pay. on that side? I guess, yeah, she wouldn't yeah. be able to pay the 100 grand. It's all right. Thank the you parents to... had to remortgage the house. <laughs> Thank you to Jim for your contribution to the coffee Thank fund. Thank you, Jim. Not for six minutes, hopefully. <laughs> Tim said, sorry, you're getting lots of close-ups of my face right yeah. now because I'm trying you to read. You want me to, to, like, grab the torch and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. You know why? It's because I'm trying to read the comments off the screen wanna, and then I'm putting Do you want to read from my screen? I will. Here you go. Because uh, I'm going like this. I feel like an old person. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so thank you very much to Jim for your contribution to the Coffee Fund. Said hello from California. Love your channel. Z9 ordered 1st of April. Hope to get it this year. <laughs> I hope so too for you, Jim. I really, truly do. Here we are. Oh, I like All right, that one. Let's, uh, let's turn the camera over. Flipping it round. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It's much more spacious than it was last year. That's true. That's true. Okay, let's, let's have a look at some photography. Yeah. And you know what? I like here mm -hmm. where they've not used glass to cover the photos because mm. of, you get the reflections and you kind of don't get the full that's true. impact. Yeah. Look, um, it's books. Apologies for refresh rate, but that's the light in here. So it's oh, not can you, you can see it, yeah, can you? Yeah, I can you? see it's flickering a little bit. So. so if you are sensitive to flicker, then maybe just uh, listen to us. Yeah, it's, it's mute, it, not mute. What's the other one? Turn the screen off and just listen yeah, to the yeah. sweet, sweet sounds of <laughs> talking about photography. Um, so Richard said, yes. regarding different coloured camera bodies, Her Majesty the Queen used to have a gold-plated Roly. Yeah. Perhaps a nice gold-plated Z9 for up-and-coming birthday bash. Well, that's true. Um, actually, she uses Leica. Mm. So unfortunately, she's not a Nikon lady, I which is a darn Leica. shame. I want to try like that, just to try what it feels I like. I do too. To be rich. I've got a friend um, that uses that has a Leica. He let me hold it once. Well, <laughs> I'm kind of like looking on eBay for M6s. I like this. Oh, it's a classic New York shot, isn't it? I love it. I have like 20 of those, but that you took. I didn't charge as much. No, yeah. but see, I'd like. It, there's something. I like that. That's conceptual. Yeah, that is very interesting. What is this? I don't know because I don't actually speak Portuguese, but anyway. It's a puff pastry. <laughs> Egg tart. It's interesting. It's a picture on top of a picture or leaves? I can't quite tell. I like stuff like this. This is photographs printed on leaves. Yeah, anything to do with plants you like. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> but seriously, oh, I 
can't open your phone now. It's the wrong face. Yeah, the flick is horrendous, unfortunately, but... Uh, is it? Uh, hold on, hold on. Ta -da. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, Tony go, said, be careful what you put in Becky's hands. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Um, I don't know what I did wrong. Anyway, Ron said, apparently Somerset House, the origin of it was that when civil registration began in 1837, it was used to issue birth certificates, marriage mm -hmm. certificates, death certificates mm -hmm. in England and Wales. So oh, sounds like a fun place. Uh, yeah, but also the fact that it was very, it's a very big building for just that purpose. Um, apparently, there is a very beautiful portrait of uh, Her Majesty. So we're going mm. to hunt no, around for well, that. Thank you, that. Brian, for that little yeah. tip. Um, so we show you show everything, you so we can't really filter any sensitive content. So just <laughs> be ready for some flesh if mm -mm. you. <laughs> yes, if you're sensitive about body parts, then uh, yes. just be warned. So this is. Very interesting. These are actually photographs printed onto leaves. There's a, it's actually, um, it's got another name. It's not photography. Ah. Well, it's, but it's a projection of a photography on a plant, effectively. Well, it depends because what you can do is lay down, mm -hmm. um, like, yeah. you can lay down paper or any material and then you can coat it with like light sensitive chemicals mm -hmm. and then put things on top of it. So either it's a projection, I assume it is, because nobody's hand's going to be that large. Mm -hmm. Or it's done with some clever, clever, clever sort of enlargement. I see. We've got a lot more colour photography, but there's still a good, healthy dose of black and white oh, that's in That's true, that's true. I'm impressed. We will, I will be taking some pictures in here later. What, with my inside the tent? Yeah, because it's not that dark. I think ISO 400 will be okay. I well, stand in to do this. that? Look, look at this one. I think that's a composite. Oh. Well, we've seen. Um, I've seen these. Did we see those last year? Saw these we'll last year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I haven't I'm seen this one. Show you that. Yeah, I think we've seen those last year. <laughs> it's just your face. I mean, unless you're admiring my chin. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was just wondering if it was the same. Yes, Australian photographer Tom Blatchford. You know, on, the, on this picture, it looks like you're in Antarctica. <laughs> the backdrop. You just need a 400 mil or 800 mil. That's right. Is this and this? I'm so sorry. I'm standing right in your way. This is Stephen Wilkes. Yes, I've seen that one. I know that one. Have you that seen shot that one? was taken. I'm sure it was taken uh, with Hasselblad because I got the email from them. Yeah, it's uh, Maria Svarbova from Slovakia. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you and know you I wouldn't, get a hassle by the emails because... You wouldn't know it was taken by a... I don't know about that one, but I mean, you wouldn't necessarily know it was taken by a Hasselblad, except for the fact that it's... I mean, Hasselblad is break. quite well known for the colour science, but at the same time, you can, if you're good with colour, and edges in colour, you will be able to get similar results. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's down to oh, your yeah, editing that's, skill. Uh, that's another one. So that's a digital Hasselblad. Well, I've lost, the, I've lost your phone. You've got a very quick turn off. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Andy said, can you focus a little better? Focus? I can't focus really because it's uh, iPhone. <laughs> we, I wish we could. Um, and Pathfinder said the video looks a bit like 80s VHS. That's because of the, the flicker. Okay. Yeah, it's the lighting, unfortunately, inside the tent and the compression of the stream. But you see here, right? It's not as bad. You can see it in the little shadow bit. areas. Yeah. Look at that, I love that shot. Drone? Yeah, presumably. Or a helicopter. Or a helicopter. But you feel like you could just drop right into it. All right, Becky, but tell me, is it art? Yes, one sec, I just want to see. Things like this, I want to know how they did it. <laughs> Okay, the, the thing about this, I look at those shots, aerial shots, and I don't find them, I, don't, I wouldn't call them art. I think that if you're a really big fan of New York, you might want to put something like but that. But it's, it's just a technical photography, it's good, it's not art. Okay, fair okay, enough. Okay, I want to ask our viewers, what is art? No, that's a really big, so big question. So those aerial shots, would you consider them art, or would you consider them a really good technically shot images? Well, I And think I know it's a blurred line. It is a bit. But also, photography is basically science and art combined, right? Yes. So, 
does it have to be one or the other? Can it not, not be both? Not necessarily, but for everyone, I think art represents something different. Yeah, it's a, it's a quality of communication, yeah. basically. I mean, you look and take a picture of your shoes and you can call them art if you want to. <laughs> so really, like, good framing there. <laughs> I'm uh, doing a really good job. So what <laughs> is art, guys? That. Tell us in the comments below. Well, that, that's, uh, yeah, we'll get the chat going wild. Because I think everyone will come up with slightly different definitions of art. Yes. And the thing that I find interesting about the photography show personally mm -hmm. is the fact that they use so many different mediums. Photo London, not photography show. Sorry, Photo London, yeah. Yes. About this show, which is a show in London of photography, uh, but yeah. is the fact that mixed media is often used and sometimes yeah. things don't feel like they're actually photography, but they're still, they still have a place here. Do you That's see what true. I mean? That's true. These are fascinating. I mean, how do... They... Well, I assume it's a composite, but... Exactly. But how? <laughs> you see, that's, that's the thing. It makes me sort of question, okay, well, Qu what question, is... Question reality, would you say? Well, yeah, kind of question um, what classifies as photography. Do you see what I mean? What is photography? <laughs> if it's going to be made up of lots of different things, like these things. They didn't have human? these things thrown away. <laughs> or are we dancers? Exactly. <laughs> uh, why must yeah. photography be art? Yeah, it's true. Well, that's the thing. It's, uh, the, the reason why I'm asking this question is really, it doesn't have a d definitive answer, I would say. No, fair enough. You know. I'm not asking because I'm writing you all wrong. No, no, you it's, I mean. a, it's actually, you're asking a genuine question. When we started at, at college, every picture we would take and we discuss on the creek, we would be asked, why did you take it? Yes. And uh, just because it looks cool, wouldn't cut it, if you see what I mean. Yeah, because I like it. Exactly. It's like, how does your wine taste? Well, it tastes grapes, you know. You can't just answer those questions. No. Are these, is that, those are the placards for that? I assume so. Yes. Because there's so many of them. So, this is medium format, instant film. Okay, so those are Polaroids, basically, and there's, yeah. straight yeah. from the back. That's right, and yeah. there's only, they're one of a kind, obviously, because they're not going to, that's, I quite like that as an idea, something where you genuinely have something unique. Yeah, not a limited edition of one million? No, I like the idea of having, you know, something that's entirely yeah. unique. Yeah, certainly having a, a limited edition. Yeah. I haven't seen any, you know, I haven't seen any NFTs here yet, Becky. No, where's the NFT section? <laughs> Do they have an NFT section? <laughs> I hope they don't, but... Uh... Okay, so now we have the good... Uh... Oh, look, look at this guy. <laughs> I know this guy. Yeah. Got a different... Um... Oh, there's a picture of the Queen. Okay. I was going to say, there's a picture of Freddie Mercury. They're dressed as the Queen. But actually, maybe these ones were the ones that Brian was talking about. <laughs> these royal photographs. Those are great shots. Yeah. Oh, it's the Queen and her mum and her sister over there. Queen, Queen Mother, sister. I like that shot, mm -hmm. that one, very, very nice. Yeah, the colours quite pop. Yeah, and also it's just something so different. It's, just, it's a picture of the Queen that you wouldn't normally see. Yeah. Can you go a bit closer onto that one? It almost looks like a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> That's different. Yeah. I like that. And then from Queen and then to Queen. The other, exactly, from the Queen to Queen. I'm afraid of Mercury, you've got Blondie in here. Love it. David, well, David, David Bowie. Bowie. <laughs> Little indie artists. I want a picture with a rose like this. Can you take a portrait of me like this? Oh, what's that? Yeah, I'll take a picture of you like that. Look at that picture of the, of the stones, though. Isn't that great? Like, every time you look at it, there's something new. You've got the sheep, the cat. It's like a little puppy, another puppy, a goat. So you almost kind of have to look at the image and find details. It's like there's a little, like lots of little, little different stories in there. Yeah, and they're all dressed almost like they're from different eras, which is also very cool. 
I like that as uh, an image. Yeah, very similar to Annie Lebovitz style, but you know, with analog feel to it. Yeah. So. That's a classic. Oh, yes. It is, isn't uh, it? A Game of Thrones character, isn't uh -huh. it? So, yeah, very uh, funny. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> we are no longer speaking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's looking forward to Obi-Wan on the May 27th? Obi the one. No, Obi-Wan, the series. I'm very looking forward to that. Like he's just a big yeah. nerd at heart. Did I basically. tell you I got six months of Disney, Disney Plus with eight pounds Tesco Club card vouchers? You did. <laughs> That's the only way this I would This is the kind of thing I like to photograph. To Disney Plus. Oh yeah, that's, that's gorge. <laughs> that's lovely. I love that. You yeah. know, I do think that printing your stuff big, like that image wouldn't necessarily have the same impact if it was small. Mm. It, it keeps getting upset about my face. Can you just look at your phone? There we yeah, go. Yeah, here we go. Um, I've missed a whole bunch of comments. I'm so sorry. I was too busy looking at the pictures. Uh, Dave said... There's some good images this year. Yeah. I actually am preferring it to last year's yeah, images. Yeah, I think so. I agree as well. Um, so David said art is a banana taped to the wall which sold for $120,000. Exactly. <laughs> or um, a drawing of a Campbell soup. You know? <laughs> That's right. Uh, there we go, and let's just see. Len said, art makes you feel things, good or bad. I agree with it, that it's a communication. It makes yeah. you feel something. Yeah, feel and think, Yeah, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Which are probably the same thing in a way. That's right. Um, let's see. Anything by Kent Gavin there of the Royals? I don't actually didn't look at who, like who was one. doing the Royals one. Oh, yeah. Any Grey's pictures? No, <laughs> none here. We are not worthy. No. <laughs> we uh, still have to grow as photographers. George I said, think. don't forget to like. Yes, please do. That would be great. Yeah, subscribe uh, would help as well. Yeah, would help massively. Subscribe. Yeah, there we go. That, that, that's the artist from, not this one, although I do like this Yeah, shot. that looks like Scotland. But over there, yeah. that's the artist from last year. Oh, yes. Yeah, so he's using the same technique. That's beautiful. For though. new subjects. I love it. I really do. I would um, I would buy a book of that. Has he got other stuff? Or is it just that one? It's just that one this year. Yeah. So remember, look at the texture. Look at the texture. Yeah. You see how it's all cracked? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that in a, you know, with a compression. That's very But annoying. it's a special process applied to the image to create such an effect. I have to remember that I'm just going to scooch past here quickly. Yeah. There's no placard. <laughs> All right. It's a gorgeous shot. <laughs> it's a beautiful shot. I really like that. I like these as well. Ah, they didn't have something like this last year where there was like a little. I know I'm in the way. I just want to stand right in front of. I'm framing you. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you want to show the audience something? Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so these... I'm just judging by the, you know, you see that the hat has been slightly blurred and then the dress has been slightly blurred. So I would assume it's five by four large format shot. Mm. I could be wrong, but basically, yeah, you get the sense in focus and then the top and bottom out of focus. Really nice. I could be totally wrong, but this is just kind of idea it gives me. He also did vases. I like that as a set. When you take it in as a whole, it kind of has yeah. more impact. And we talked actually. about it. Creating images as a set also works really well. Yeah. And this looks like it might be more than just the photo layer, yeah, it might be the a glass cloud. layer. It is a cloud. It is, okay. <laughs> I, I was right this one, okay. <laughs> no, I just mean that it looks like there's another layer underneath, like possibly metal or something like there, that. I think, I think when we spoke to him last year, he said there was at least three layers in there. You can just show your face and then it yeah. does it. You just have to, there we go. Um, oh, that's a good question. Nigel said, Andreas Gursky, the Rhine oh, yeah. 2 photo sold for over 4 million. Yeah. Rubbish photo or art, he Here said. we go, here we go. Andres Gursky is uh, one of my top photographers. Wow, there you go. And he shoots large format. I shoot stuff like that. 
Does it get, how much do they send in that one for? No. Five Obviously, it's quite different, quite a bit different to what I shoot, but. Or more flowers. Is it? This section is sponsored by Becky. It is. I love this double exposure. Do you think this is double exposure or just a reflection? It looks like uh, a double exposure. It looks like double exposure. I like that. Yeah. It's a portrait in a mirror. Okay, so when it gets to things like this size, then they really become installations rather than just prints, well, you know? that thing, like that's if you look at this, that's something that Andreas Gursky would shoot. And it's, it's made up of lots of individual photos. Yeah, but he would actually shoot the whole building like this. In some cases, it looks like it's the same windows shot at different times, at different Potentially. angles. Potentially. That's very, that's a very interesting concept. I quite like that. Um, Tim Herring said art, well, he actually quoted Talbot, it's, it is a little bit of magic realized. I like that. They're digging out the inspirational quotes for us today. Well, that's good. <laughs> and if you, you know, if you ask, what art personally means to you as well. People would answer with different. I mean, there's no right answer in my opinion. Absolutely. I agree. It's like whatever makes you tickle a little bit, you know? What excites it's you. It's art, exactly. Um, which, uh, which where, where are we going next? <laughs> which bit have we not seen? That's, it's not. <laughs> you know, this is a classic shot. I have a book of Bruce Davidson. The, those are the shots from the New York underground. Oh yeah. So, um, I think this book is out of print now, but those are some great images. One of the first like color images as well, because a lot of it was black and white back in the day. He shot it in color. And obviously New York underground at the time was quite a scary place. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want to go there and... Again, that, one, that is one of the top 10, my favorite books, I would say. Very interesting. Oh, look. <laughs> Oh, look. That's smart. <laughs> That's smart. You can see each other in there <laughs> and say, this is art. It's 100% original. <laughs> and then we get onto the more sort of abstract. Yeah. I don't know. Is it abstract photography, no, I think almost it the end, actually. I think we've gone around most of it. I love those pictures of horses. There. Well, Larry is going to be in London in a week, so he's hoping to visit Grace. Yes, definitely, Larry, come oh, over. Oh, yeah, that would be we great. We'd love to meet you. Then to the West Country for a month, using the Z9 to capture the London and uh, RSPB sites in the West Country. <laughs> it's interesting as well, as us photographers, because we live in London, we do find sometimes it's quite, you know, we kind of, we've seen it all. Yeah. And it's difficult Sorry. for us to find subjects, but every time we go to the countryside, we are like, wow, there's so many opportunities to shoot. Completely. And obviously, if you live in the countryside or in another town and come into London, there's so many things to photograph. <laughs> I know, but I think, is it because we've lived there for so long that, uh, I say there, here, London, <laughs> that we just don't... Uh, we've done those. We just don't see it anymore? That's true. Have we done these? We've done these. We've done those. Good. All right, yeah, should we... That's it. That was the end of it. Well... <laughs> Thank okay. you very much for joining us. <laughs> Actually, yeah. we do have about 15 minutes left, but I, did, I had some conclusions, some things that I thought yeah. were quite interesting. Okay. Like, th I think one of the reasons why I enjoy coming to these sorts of exhibits and shows is that yeah. no matter what, what you take from it, you will get a little bit of inspiration. You do, yeah. yeah. You'll always take something away. And right? then you live another day and you forget everything. So. <laughs> Not necessarily. It sticks with you. There's this... Um, uh, this great book that I'm going to forget the name of the author now, but I think it's Adam Klein or... I only know Adam Driver. Any, anyway, and it's called How to Steal Like an Artist. Yes, yes. There's a, actually quite a few books in, the, in that um, series. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I just, I actually think that that's, that's very true as a, an artist photographer. Yeah. If you're doing it for scientific purposes even, you draw inspiration from Well, have a look everything. at a portrait and try to recreate it. Yeah. Try to get the lighting right. Yeah. Try to create double exposure very similar to the other artists, etc., etc. That's right. We need I mean, all to this... It, should we put it somewhere? All this... I'm thinking if you go to the balcony, um, probably going to be nice. Um, all this will make you a better photographer because you'll know how it's done. Yeah. You've recreated it and that may give you an idea maybe how to improve on the concept because art is not original. 
it's been reiterated and reiterated and reiterated. It's very difficult to get completely original art. Yeah. You know, you will see in a piece of art that you can see different influences from different eras or different people, etc., etc. That's right. And another possibly good thing about not seeing the settings used in the equipment and uh, everything else is that then if you do try and recreate it, it takes that much process, that much experimentation yeah. to try and replicate something. Yeah, exactly. uh, they say, you know, the, one of the first forms of flattery is uh, mimicry, right? Or yeah. was that effect? Baxter said, the shows are a good dose of reality. It makes me realize how bad a photographer I am. Well, I don't think that's strictly true, Baxter, because I've seen your photographs and I yeah. wouldn't say that you're a bad photographer at all. Yeah, but. and it's always nice you come home and you hug your Z9 and it makes you feel just a little bit better. Yeah, that's right. You um, know, and then you go and order another Z9. <laughs> you know, and then wait Instead another. of eating ice cream, you know, so all 400 meals. <laughs> just eat ice cream. Yeah, just um, buy equipment when you feel stressed, you know. <laughs> Just if you want to mix it up. Not a financial advice. No, it's definitely not financial advice. Uh, Keith said, if you get the focus wrong, call it art. Apparently that's a quote from someone somewhere. Uh, David said, one fuzzy photo may be an error. A set of fuzzy photos is a style. Yeah, art, but art doesn't have to be technical. No, it doesn't. Art can represent the feeling. That is why I really struggled yeah. with, with my art exams, actually, was because I had to have a reason for yeah. producing something. You and have I no feelings? No, it wasn't that. It was just that my feeling would be that I drew it or I painted it because I liked it or I photograph it because I like it. But then you had to sort of internalize and Well, that's, that's what I think for a lot of people, that, that can be, it can be a stumble block. And that's where like something like college or university yeah. may help you with that. You know, yeah. how to write a thesis for what you photograph. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's like a challenge. my friend, she did the uh, Westminster University, she did bachelor for three years. Uh, I think they took pictures about twice. The rest they were just writing and right. writing and writing. That was a photography degree. So wow. uh, that's that. That's scary. We did have someone who came who was doing a photography degree who didn't know that the lenses and the cameras came separately. Mm. They applied for a job at Grace. Needless I think to it all say, comes together. needless to say, yeah. they didn't last very long. Uh, no, <laughs> actually, they decided to pursue some yeah. other pursuits. No, but, but you know, as well, <laughs> as well artists don't, don't need to be technical. No, no, it's true. And, and you know, the funny thing is, like, um, even famous artists, they don't need to use latest equipment. Like Annie Leibovitz, and yeah. people like it or hate her. You know, she's shooting a lot now with iPhone. Scary, Do I like actually. it as a photographer? Probably not. No, you know. but, I feel like somehow it's yeah. cheating. We're well, just going to go through to the back bit. Yeah, so there could be a bad signal for about like five seconds, but hopefully we just try to get through this bit. This yeah, bit we might then. drop out for a second or two and then uh, hopefully it'll work again. I'm trying to see. So um, Austin said, great tour. Thank you very much. Dave said, you do tend to take for granted where you live, especially if like me, you spent most of your week working at the very center of London. Uh, his, he was working in Whitehall for so many years mm. and is only doing one day a week now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it is true. Sometimes people, like for example, last week we had, um, should we do that one? That one? Yeah. Okay. Um, we could go uh, there. He's going to switch the camera <laughs> and uh, just going to try not to walk show a bit, of a, a bit of London. For a second. Again, so there's some trees, there's Thames over there. <laughs> uh, shell building, perhaps? Yeah, I think it's a shell building over there. And you can see the London Eye just between the trees as well. So it's here we go. And if you look down, got a bit of a north bank of the river. And that was Constantine's tour of the London River Line. That, that's all I know about London. <laughs> but if you like this, do put us like. Um, because we don't have enough likes. We don't have enough likes, it's true. Tati says, hi from East Grinstead, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Hello. It's my best friend. Oh. <laughs> so, um, thank you for watching. Uh, Baxter said, it's all about telling your story with an image or a series. If you have nothing to say, it's difficult to craft a narrative. That's very true. I also think that it's okay to take pictures just for the sake of taking pictures, but it's nice if you've got a reason and a purpose for it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you can stagnate pretty quickly. You know when they have discussion who who is professional photographer and who is not, it's very similar to who is artist and who is not. Yeah. I think we all can be professional photographers and non-professional photographers. I know the definition of that actually making money from your photographer, but everyone can be an artist as well. But you can also be an artist who sells their images for twenty, thirty thousand pounds. You yeah. know, so completely.
Um, oh, Andrew, you publish things on Instagram. You should should keep that up too. Our viewers appreciate it, I think. Well, I'm trying. Yeah, I've done three weeks so far. So Andrew says, "Nice tour. Are you guys doing this channel full time now?" Uh, no, we are still running the shop. <laughs> yeah, and it's. It's quite difficult to do both that's at the same true, time. That's true. So you guys have to forgive us sometimes when, let's say, we have to go with us, you know, just two of us and film each other, etc. We don't have a crew that goes with us. We don't have five or seven days a week to film this. We yeah. literally have to find a lot of, sp like a spot of spare time where we can just film, do as much as we can on that, and then give it, give it for you, basically. You yes. Know, just release it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yesterday we did actually go out and shoot for the first time in a while, uh, and we managed to cram in, I think, three shoots in the day, yeah. basically. Uh, but it was a lot of hard work. I know, I'm seeing my phone just topple over the balcony edge. That Shall we put it on the table? Yeah, that's a good idea. Because if do it that. falls down, at least, it doesn't go three <laughs> floors down. So. Just goes on the floor. Should yeah. go there. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that's the one that we originally picked was taken. I'm going to be blinded, but that's Voila. OK. Which way are we sitting? This I way? don't know. You sit down, and then I'll. I'll sit down. Ooh. That was loud. Gosh, it's like last year, except last year we were under a brolly. Um, yeah, so we, we managed to cram in three shoots yesterday, and that was highly productive. But half of the time was taken up, first of all, with me taking wrong turns uh, in my car, but also just loading and unloading all the equipment, setting it all up, all that yeah. kind of stuff. It takes quite a lot of time. So. My advice is don't follow Becky in a car, just <laughs> use your GPS. <laughs> just follow the sat nav, don't follow Becky's sense of direction. <laughs> um, Len said, love seeing your photos on Instagram. So you should oh, just keep you. doing it, Len. I mean, I <laughs> have a difficult, we're talking about artists and professional photography. I'm a portrait kind of a bit of beauty and fashion photographer. And uh, I, w I had difficulties of putting other con content out on my profile. Yeah. So that's why I didn't run Instagram because I want you to put this type of work in there. Since YouTube is now take over, took over a lot of time, then I decided, okay, I probably will have a second account where I can put this portfolio type of imagery there, but then my main account is going to be a bit of everything what we do right now. So, but it took me about a year to figure out. It's a, it's a struggle. Yeah. Particularly when you have sort of more than one uh, discipline. Yeah. I'd say. The thing is, like, I tend to think I want to do this, but then obviously we take pictures of everything, especially for YouTube channel, and That's right. obviously they are, in my opinion, are good pictures. You know, so and. I want, at the same time, I want to share them, but then I felt like I don't want to kind of mix them with other images, etc., etc. Yeah. So I finally decided that I'm going to do this and I'm going to have a separate account for all the kind of studio portrait shots. One day, when you have time. Yeah, let, just one thing at a time, Becky. You yeah. know, just, just baby steps. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Keith just missed getting a shot of a beautiful rainbow on the way to work uh, and nice. is back to work and we'll have to watch the rest later. Well, Keith, thank you very much for joining us for the little bit of time that you did. Baxter just keeps his Instagram for portrait work. So, well, here we go. That's the thing. I mean, we have looked at potentially doing, for example, a Patreon page where uh, then all of our shots from a particular shoot that we do go there so that we can keep our Instagram for our own personal work. Um, it's, a, it's a tough one yeah. because, you know, people don't necessarily want to pay a couple of quid a month to just look at your pictures. But otherwise, it's getting a website and a domain and the upkeep and the stuff of that. Which... Yeah, a little thing is if you yeah, if you have your website, you know that it costs uh, to run, etc, etc. I also, struggle to update yeah. my own website, let alone do one just mm. for <laughs> photography, just for the, the shoots. Yeah. I mean, like if you want to see my, you know, commercial work and all the portraits and beauty stuff, you can always look at my website at where my portfolio is, which is constantkoshkin.co.uk. Yes. Hello, Pigeon. Pigeon's come to it. Um, Michael said, uh, loved the sights, but mostly loved your speaks. Would have enjoyed it just as much with no vision, if ever that becomes your future. Would your podcast? Well, I guess the podcast is is the answer to that. Obviously, the podcast that we do is the Nikon Report, so it's got all the news in it, and we do it as a podcast as well as filmed on YouTube. But we could do more podcast stuff. I just think that it's quite sensible to have it filmed as well, because some people prefer things visually particularly when it comes to that Nikon report. Yeah, and especially if you look at the YouTube as a platform, uh, we do much better on YouTube, while it's just two talking heads effectively, you know? So yeah. technically, yeah, you don't need to watch us doing this, but we know the podcast is doing much better on YouTube than on other po podcast platforms. But you're welcome to, you know, download us on Apple and Spotify's of the world, 
So, you know, that's absolutely fine. That's right. Uh, we will start to add into the podcast a bit of advertising at some point. So don't get upset. But Radio we, advertising. But we need to kind of be sustainable. So we need to pay our bills as well. So we might add that in the future. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jan said in 1983, I recreated one of Jerry Ewelsman's pictures in the dark room. wasn't hard, but to get the idea. Yeah. Which is, is a smart thing to do, I think. I think that's the best education. Um, it was interesting how they taught us flash at yeah. the college. They gave us those mats things, you know, the one that you put a camera, it's like it comes with a bracket, you attach your DJ hundred there, there's a massive flash on the side that connects to the PC thing. Wow. They gave us this, they go outside, figure it out. It was bright sunny day, go figure out how to use flash. Yeah. You suddenly start to learn how to use fill in flash, Smart. on a bright sunny day, how to use it indoors, etc., etc. But then you've done it. You can read many books and don't get, you know, you can understand the theory, but when it comes to practice, if you don't, you know, if you kind of have this in your head, but you can't actually apply it, then it's difficult. So, you know, so go do things. Yeah. And even if you've done it halfway, you still will know probably a lot more about the process than you did before. Yeah, it's actually, you know, obviously watching YouTube videos can be inspiring and it will sometimes be problem solving for you yeah. if you don't know how to achieve a particular yeah. goal. But there's nothing that, nothing beats actually going out and trying it yourself. Um, Steven said the bottom line for me is that you both inspire me to take photographs, which is great. That's, we want to inspire people. That's, I think uh, that's basically like, if you can get something out of our videos, it's this, I think. Exactly. John said, podcast is great on both formats, audio from in the car, otherwise YouTube is excellent for it. Yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, personally, you know, in yeah. the car. So yeah, I think I it's worth <laughs> I listen to audiobooks. Mm. Um, or the radio. Mm. But yes, a similar kind of concept, at least with, the, with podcasts, you get to choose what you're listening yeah. to people waffle on about. Um, Andy said, nice to see Somerset House open and useful again without masks and uh, social distancing. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, last year it was pretty, uh, well, it was last year. September was actually quite casual in comparison to how things had been yeah. in the run-up to there, but still, this is much more yeah. much more freer and open than we've yeah. ever you had. You still it. had to bring your tests, That's and right. vaccine, you know, the certificates of vaccines and all this, so yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, Andy said, I had to, in art class, present what I thought was a good piece of art and bad. Um, <laughs> he chose Andrew Wyeth, uh, Christina as good, and Jackson Pollock as bad, and didn't know that the professor was friends with Pollock. So, whoops, I guess you didn't get an A in that one, Andy. <laughs> so what he's trying to say, the art can be personal. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, hello, Leonardo from Singapore. Thanks for joining us. Um, we are wrapping up now. It's been an hour. Oh, yeah. Would you believe? And that was fun. It was fun. And I'm glad that we could take you with us through the tent last year when we did it we'd, we'd seen it before and we kind of picked out our highlights beforehand this time it was our first impressions very much so and uh and i enjoyed that actually yeah, it was fun. i did and i also it made me think that actually certain images of mine would probably work well as a set i think that's why on instagram when people's feeds are consistent it's quite pleasing but it's just boring when you look through each picture yeah. one by one but if you look at a, a body of work it's sort of presented in a set it's quite I mean, it's also difficult if you follow a lot of people yeah and it's all crumbs in one feed that you can mess you can miss a lot of people yeah. if you would want to see the work for that I always find it difficult so sometimes you just go purposely like I need to see this person's images this person images etc et yeah you just need to go and find them because yeah. the uh, the algorithm is is a tough one to get around if you're ever struggling with things like social media and Instagram it's got a lot to do with what how much you interact with other people what hashtags you use how people find you how much do you stay up to date on current trends so for example but that's the problem that's the problem you say do you want to have it specialized do you want your have account to be specialized so aka your portfolio yeah. that's a lot of people do yeah or let's say like i've decided that i'm just going to put day-to-day -day stuff what we do now what i had for breakfast and yeah well not not this but more like what we do you know in testing different lenses etc etc because yeah. we put the images on the you know our youtube videos and then you know we can always publish them and say this is result taken on those dates and that means yeah. you know Again, you still want to produce, even for review, for YouTube review, you still want to produce good images. Absolutely. You know, you don't just say this is a nice lens and then put some crappy images out. No, know? exactly, because then nobody really sees what you what exactly. you got out of it. Exactly. Right. Uh, 
I'm just seeing if there's any. Uh, Michael said, love your discussions and insights on all aspects of photography. So we Thank are you. glad we are here to serve. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Looks like we've got a good number of likes, which was fantastic. Thank you for all your contributions to the Coffee Fund. Um, thanks for coming around Photo London and keeping us company this afternoon. We will be back next week. We've got yeah. a... The uh, tickets, by the way, are 15 pounds. So we're just waiting for those to arrive. So for all 150 of you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so you can see I'm, I'm more in the finance. You really than are. Becky, you know, so. <laughs> by the way, financial <laughs> report next week, Nikos, just came out. Joy. Yeah. Yes, we've seen. Brace it. yourself. Mm -hmm. um, we will see you next week for a Nikon report, another live stream. We've got a video coming out on Sunday on the Z62 firmware update. So uh, keep an eye on the channel. And otherwise, have a beautiful weekend all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh, I say bye, but I have to actually end it. There we go. <laughs>